So today, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about 12.1 and the new Resident Evil event coming tomorrow. So if you guys don't know, 12.1 is focused more around the PS5, but there are some small changes that they are doing to the game to help improve it, and we'll go over all those details. But first, let's dive into the Resident Evil event, because that event starts tomorrow, February 2nd to the 15th. Now, there are a bunch of items you can get, and they actually showed us off a few of those. So there are five different operator outfits you guys can get. So the first one being Leon Kennedy, and his is the RPD outfit, which is looks pretty cool. Looks like a tactical outfit. If you guys are a Resident Evil fan, this might be something you're looking for. You have Chris Redfield. He's gonna be another fan favorite. A lot of people are gonna be going for that outfit. Um, I'll probably piece these pieces together, but there's another outfit called Umbrella. So that's another one right there. You also have Rebecca Chambers, and then that's the fourth outfit, which looks like a medic one, right? She has like the little medic sign on her chest. Um, I like her boots. She has some, those pants are actually pretty cool. And then you have Jill Valentine, and then that is the fifth and final. So yeah, there are five different um, apparel items. You can get full sets, but that's not just it. There's also other apparel items, including two shirts, seven backpack trophies, including the T-Virus, Jill Sandwich, Zombie Hand, RPD Badge, Ink Ribbon, um, Doberman, and then the Liquor. And then also there are four arm patches, the Stars, Umbrella Corporation, RPD, and the Resident Evil 25th Anniversary. And then there are five different weapon skins. There's also a Nemesis Mask that you will be able to obtain upon a completion of this event. So something for you guys to keep in mind. Now, the Resident Evil event will feature daily projects rewarding you with backpack trophies and arm patches. So doing those daily um, projects, that's how you're gonna be able to get those backpack trophies and arm patches. Now, how are the keys earned? Well, Resident Evil keys for the apparel caches can be earned from the following sources. Shade leveling, one key every four shade levels. That's normal. And then direct purchase from the premium credits. So you can either purchase it or just play the game up to you now remember event caches do not contain duplicates so any items you're missing can be viewed in the apparel menu item so what's good about that is say if for some reason you don't want to grind it out and you need two items if you purchase two keys you're gonna get those two items um now the event is live from february 2nd to the 15th and then the event does close but from february 16th to the 22nd you still have time to use your leftover keys if you haven't used them so make sure you use them during that period and you don't wanna miss out on the event if you're about apparel items. So we dive into 12.1 patch notes. We know that 4K 60 FPS support for Xbox Series X is going to happen, plus the PlayStation 5. So if you have PlayStation 5 or the new gen Xbox, 4K 60 FPS is being unlocked. Now, another big thing is the optimization station. So it reduces all optimization costs by 75%. So some of you guys who might ask the question, well, what is the optimization station, I've never really used it, or some of you guys may say, well, what's the point? So if you head over here to the crafting station, well, sorry, recalibration station, optimization, go here, top optimization. If I, were, if I were to optimize this right here, see at the bottom, that should be cut down by 75%. So that's gonna be a huge amount. Now they're also reducing the optimization material crafting recipe by 50%. What that means is if you head over to the crafting station, Say you go down here where it says optimization, say you wanna craft any of these pieces, this should all cost 50% less. So if we were looking at the titanium on this one, it would be almost 100 versus 195. So everything should be 50% less. With this update, agents should be able to afford optimization their weapons, their gear about once an hour. So hopefully that's true and we'll see what they have planned for that. Now, there is the reanimated global event where they made some changes to it. So the green cloud produces, produced by killing enemies with the headshot no longer harms agents. So if you kill an enemy, it's gonna create a green cloud. Now this cloud heals agents, providing a significant boost to their firepower while standing within it. So you'll also be able to hit harder. So the green cloud continues to significantly harm enemies, which I like. So that's a really cool different, um, that's a little bit different than the old reanimated event that we had. So we'll see how that works. I think I think it's gonna be a lot better than what we had the first time. And then they did dive into some bug fixes. So for all of you guys who wanted to check that out, they do have some bug fixes. They fix a lot of little small things. Um, but overall, this patch was a little bit on the small end. I think it was more for the 4K 60 FPS support for Xbox Series X 
and S and PlayStation 5. And then of course the optimization station. That was the main thing this whole, um, this whole update was for. And then of course they have the apparel event that is going on. So that is what we're getting for this update. If you guys were looking for something else, I knew this is what we were getting. Um, they really haven't really said anything to us. So any future of the division is kind of on standstill. I feel like we really won't get an announcement till after Fei Lao. And I've been saying that for a while. So if you go to your seasons and you go to the manhunt, right? So I honestly didn't really think that we were gonna get anything else um, from this. I knew Fei Lao was our target and I believe we won't hear anything. So there's still a full week. So after this event goes live, we'll still have one week before we hunt for Fei Lao, right? Um, she'll be available. You'll kill the Mount Hunt before her. You go after Mei Fei Lao and you'll find out it, what happens with her, whether we kill her, whether we capture her, whether she gets away. We really don't know. And I think that is when we would 100% um, really find out what's the future of the Division 2. Um, the story could end here. We could find out more. It could leave the story dragging so that way we know that, hey, there might be a Division 3, there might be another year. Um, we don't really know, but the future, that's where it stands. I believe we won't find anything else till Fei Lao. So if you guys are excited for the Resident Evil event, if you're looking for apparel events, well, this is for you. I will um, try to get some really good gameplay with 4K 60 FPS. I do have a capture card that can capture that. So I have the PlayStation 5, I have the capture card. We should be able to bring you some content. So that way you guys can see how crisp it looks. And then if you guys can play 4K, well then hopefully you guys can like really see it. Well, I mean, play it on your, like, your, your, your computer or on your phone. So we'll wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you guys again for all the support. Hopefully this is what you guys were looking for. If not, well, wait till the next one. Nothing but skills is out.